Thanks for visiting BillOnTheRoad.com. I'm Bill Cleveland, and today I'm on the road in Louisville, Kentucky. Today we're going to see the oldest operating steamboat in the country, the Belle of Louisville. It's hard to imagine the riverfront here without the Belle of Louisville. It's been a fixture of the city since the 1960s. Her life began in Pittsburgh. In 1914, then known as Idlewild, she was part passenger ferry and part cargo ship. Over the years, she's been a nightclub, pushed barges, and racked up more miles on the water than any other boat of its kind. Belle of Louisville is a floating piece of American history, and people have noticed the Smithsonian, for starters. They had heard the steam engines on the Belle of Louisville were older than she was and date back to the 1880s and were still operating. And they felt that they were significant in transportation and they asked for them when we were through with them to put them in the Transportation Museum. Well, that was 20 years ago. We just reworked the engines and had cylinders and pistons put in. They're good for another 100 years. They'll be waiting a very long time. But she didn't always have a bright future. Time and travel had taken a toll. In 1962, the bell was put up for auction, then known as Avalon, perhaps destined for the scrapyard. She was purchased for just $34,000 at auction. Marlo Cook, a former Republican senator from Kentucky, led the effort to bring the vessel to Louisville and begin a full-blown restoration effort. If they had to navigate by the wheel, they could but it moves very quickly. This is the telegraph system that they use to communicate with downstairs, and they tell them through certain rings where they want to go, and this is the needle that gives the acknowledgement that they've been heard. This October, the Bell will celebrate its 100th anniversary and continue its run as the longest running steamboat in the country. She has become a, a, a landmark, certainly a national historic landmark, but an icon for Louisville. She's such a treasure because she's the only authentic boat remaining of an era that was a big part of American history in developing our country to the west. To have her in Louisville brings us back down to the river uh, where it all began for Louisville. So being back in touch with our river roots, having something that goes out that is like a step back in time to the early 1900s. The Bell is a paddle wheeler powered by two large steam pistons. Visitors can hop on board during the warmer months and get an up-close look at its original equipment and take cruises up and down the Ohio River. But just the sounds of the boat when you're on her, the swishing of the paddle wheel, uh, the reciprocating engines, how they turn that paddle wheel, she sounds like she has a heartbeat and that she's breathing. And this boat has a soul. We truly believe that she uh, is a treasure, a living, she's a living operating museum.